the securitization process goes like this so when the default is made by a borrower the person who receives from a bank or a financial institution the banks or a financial institutions based on the prudential norms issued by rbi classifies the account of the defaulting borrower in their books as a non performing asset npa this is as per the prudential norms issued by the rbi presently moment the interest or the principal component is a default in more than 90 days the account is classified as a non performing asset and moment the classification is being made the bank serves a notice to the defaulting borrower within 60 days as a notice is served in section 13 the defaulting borrower is allowed to make some representations he can make some representations he can go for a compounding he can furnish some additional security and then say that now we will do the repayment within an extended period of time the bank or a financial institution with a secured creditor can accept the representation given by the borrower or they may reject it and once there is a no payment is being made by this defaulting borrower the banks or financial institution undergoes a next process so that's where this securitization and reconstruction company comes into picture this securitization and reconstruction company they may proceed this securitization and reconstruction company they may proceed and then do two types of activities one is a dispute resolving activity where they do purely only a panchayat where what exactly they do is they act as an only an intermediary they without recoursing activity where they have a team where they will try to deploy that and then recover money from the defaulting borrower for that they may charge a commission and another activity is actually a restructuring or a debt servicing activity where in this particular src an asset reconstruction company or a securitization reconstruction company purchases this asset this loan asset which is a bad asset npa from this banks and financial institution just like purchasing like a debtor issues as an acknowledgement called as security receipts sr so the banks or financial institution transfers the loan asset to the reconstruction company the acknowledgement is given in the form of a security receipts which is termed as and security as per securities contract regulations the money for this purpose is provided by an investor so there will be an investor who will be a qualified institutional buyers lot of large banks insurance companies who are termed as a qualified institutional buyers they will deploy money in this securitization and reconstruction company and in turn the securitization reconstruction company out of money provided by these qualified institutional buyers buys this particular purchases this particular the non performing asset bad stock which is a financial asset under question from the banks and financial institution and then issues an acknowledgement the security receipt so issued carries carries a right over an undivided interest on this particular financial asset to the investors and because this is termed as a financial asset that is a security as per securities contract regulation these security receipts can also be further traded what we mean by sell down by the particular investors and overall it may take a time of over on time scale of 5 years basis